me? Can I be sweet? Can I be you forever and be? Can we do a life together? You are my one. Welcome to the Talk of the Show. I am presenting to you the Princess Zilka. In, in the, the ever-growing respect, respect of, of our, our individuality, individuality each, each of us, for them, them may, may become, become in us. I figured I'd make it a little bit easier for our general audience since your attention span is so short-lived that I would do the introduction much faster and now your nodding can be also accelerated to a doom, a doom, a doom, to a doom, 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 done. Do you know how you spell lonely? Lonely? Lonely life? Do you spell lonely is all life without Diane? Yes. I smile, but it's really outrageous. I mean, the inanity about the whole story is so outrageous. The disvalue. And here I came dismantling the whole thing. Lonely. In the little trees, in the house of cards, of, of idiocies, external values, aggregate, aggregathas, like external, clipped on themselves, like on a Christmas tree. Didn't even belong to them. I mean, think about it. In agriculture, is someone who actually spreads the seed into the ground so everybody can eat. But those gallos, those dumb, how do you even call gallos in English? Hen, but the other thing, <clears throat> the one who steps on hens, but doesn't produce a thing. Yeah, I would call them cock, but I don't want to get confusion around here. I don't think they had any of them. No, seriously. Those run around with important minds. Look at me, and I had some important speech. Listen to me. But they didn't really say listen to me. Those always say this one thing. Are you ready to hear that? Are you ready to hear how stupid people who pretend to be important or relevant or even... See what they see? They, see, they say this one phrase. Listen up, guys. Listen up, gays. Hear me out. Let it sink in. Repeat, they say, hear me out. <sighs> Nothing. We say they have stroh im Kopf. But stroh is still good for the horses. So let me find another nice story to tell. Which one would that be? Lonely it was, lonely, because they don't connect. And now you can all see it. You can see when dumb shit comes to you. Because they're like weird. They may sound in a way, but they feel bad. They feel absolutely not okay. It's not nice when they're around you. It's like they're taking your energy slowly but surely. <laughs> and you don't even notice. It starts to feel colder and colder and colder. But if they haven't been brutalizing you already... They're violent, violent bloodsuckers. No matter in which direction you look, they're always like that. They're not just to the world because they're not just to themselves, so they can't be just to you. Yeah, and then they're like, had the little pockets, like each had their own little pocket. Yeah, depending on how they looked, so from the outside, and maybe which relations they had, and if they didn't have them, which ones they invented. So, I have to have a nub. Well, he had, of course, a little circle of women who wanted to be important, because it sounded really nice, that thing he was directing, Pathwork. Yeah, it's a book, you can read it, it's good. I, I Yes, I can recommend it or suggest it, or yes, absolutely. I did read it and I worked it too. I, I explained it, but it doesn't matter. Just do it. 
it's fine. It's an easy read, too. So these women, of course, Cornavaca had abundance of those. They were not stupid, and they were not ugly. And they were not young, young. They were not 20. They were, like, you know, a little bit older. But they wanted to be part of something important, something special. And since they didn't have the money, because this guy was an engineer, I think, he said, and had the house or had the institution to make one, well, they had to adhere to someone who did. So it seemed like a good idea to be with Mr. Nacolepsia. And of course, in order to maintain a position, even as a secretary there, and a secretary in the terms of, I have to organize the agenda, I have to activate the clients and whatnot, <clears throat> and give the news out to the bulletin board, <laughs> what we're going to have this month for adventures, you know, our courses to inscribe and subscribe to, and follow me. <clears throat> but this woman I had to adulate a type like, I am so important. And he needed to feel that there were women around him to whom they could say, I have to take a nap. <laughs> it kind of goes hand in hand. And that didn't even have a donkey because those were women. So I got those up from the Harry Hours. Because there were really nothing left after that. Why not? Okay, so what do you look at? You look at the house. You look at the patio of <laughs> the garden. You look at the person who cleans the whole shit up. No, you look at the person, what's he doing with you or for you? What's he given? The only thing I request, actually, and that is like with, not without, is attention. Attention and see what then, when there is attention, doesn't mean a thing. Attention can be there. If it's in your vibration, then miracles happen. Mystical, the whole thing is. And if you're not well, it's... But attention, there's nothing else you can achieve with anybody but with attention. And that is the one thing those narcissists never give. When they look at you, their eyes are cold. Eyes. They stare right through you because they don't see anything. No, they don't see through you, they stare through you. They are cold. They usually do not respond to direct questions ever. They evade any questioning, absolutely. And sometimes they're talkative and sometimes they're not. And disguise you with, I don't know what. Be aware, those are cold, ice-cold motherfuckers. Get it? Get it? Get it, little clippy hair? Get it? You can't buy me the world. You have to be my world. <laughs> I was always, like, out of this world. Oh. <gasps>